seems to I you can monitor your security system through your cell phone called alarm.com. And um, and I also had a motion sensor or that would take pictures and I also had a video camera and um, I had a let me see, I had alarms on the on the windows and uh, and everything would notify me if somebody opened a door, somebody opened a window, it would notify my cell phone. It, because by then I was really paranoid. And that's one of the things that they do to you is that they, they put you in the state of mind where, where you're always paranoid and you always think that if something goes wrong it's usually it's somebody doing it to you. Well at that moment in time, uh, my uh, account was hacked. Um, my that uh, was hacked into where they were going in and changing my settings to my alarm system. So I started thinking somebody was breaking into my house because uh, it would I would get a notification um, through my phone saying somebody opened the front door after I would leave. Um, I would rush home and I would get there and nothing was uh, stolen, nothing was you know missing or nothing was out of place. So I was just like, what is going on? Why is this happening to me? So I called the security system and then they, they did verify that my account was hacked into by um, a Blackberry, which I didn't have a Blackberry, I never owned a Blackberry with all the phones I've had, that's not one phone that I had, but guess who had when my ex had a Blackberry. And then what started going on was uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of noise, there was always somebody doing the landscaping outside, I mean always, it was like a 24 hour 7 thing. Always in the morning, uh, just just people working on it. And I just, how much yard work can you possibly do in to one house? And, and that was another thing that they would do is they would make a lot of noise. They wanted to, I guess, irritate me, or I don't, I don't understand why why the tact. What that was one of their tactics. <sighs> then what happened after that with my security system? Every time I would leave, they they, they started uh, uh, breaking into my house, and then the alarm would notify me that uh, somebody broke in my house and that there was a motion sensor went off and it would take a picture but yet the picture would never show anything. It would always say it was loading, loading, loading. And I'm just saying, well what's the use of having this alarm system if it doesn't even work? So again, uh, countless hours of contacting uh, these, uh, the security system when finally uh, I called the security system and then they told me that my whole account that I had was completely deleted out of their system. I never even had an account, they said, and that, that they had to uh, make me another account so they could start monitoring my house. Then, and then I started hearing people outside. I called the police several times and I would say that there was, a, there was somebody outside and, um, and, and this all sounds crazy. But I know what was happening, uh, but every time the police were called and, and then I began to be known as the crazy person who keeps calling the cops. So after that I decided no more calling the cops. I wasn't going to call the cops anymore because they weren't doing anything to help me. Nobody believed me and all it was going to do was end up getting myself in trouble. Then they started poisoning my dog. My poor little dog. I have videos of it, of what my poor dog went through. And I have uh, several people I contacted and they, you know, everybody kept telling me, you know, you know, it, it, maybe she got stung by a scorpion or, you know, always trying to downplay it. But I knew that uh, there was some, her food looked funny, it had this, it just didn't look right. It looked like it was chewed up and it spit out. And um, it could have been my dog who did that, but my dog was really sick and she was paralyzed. She couldn't move her legs. Um, but the next day she was better, um, but I, I knew that there was something going on and, and um, after that I decided I needed to move. At the time I had a really close friend, a really close friend who uh, used to come over to my house and, um, and then she started to get gang stalked as well. She started getting her cell phones uh, monitored and there was always something going on and, and it got to the point where she, she believed that I was doing it to her because I was the only one that knew enough about phones for uh, for for me be for anybody to be capable of that or who would care what she was doing but me I guess she was a close dear friend to me and I love her and I and if I speak ill of her in any way I, I do apologize because at the end she's the only one who's t ever told me what really happened or what was really going on out of everybody in my life she was the only one that came clean uh, she she then began to um, I guess think that I was uh, doing this stuff to her or monitoring her phone or, or hacking into her phone and messing, playing mind games with her. Um, and then she told me around the time that I was poisoned is when they brought her in. And she said they brought her in. She said it was a motorcycle gang that brought her in and that they tricked her into um, doing malicious things to me. Um, this is just uh, what she had. She, she was so scared when she told me she wrote it down on a piece of paper, which I still have, um, and, and to tell me what was going on. Uh, 
I then moved, uh, another time I moved into a place, uh, a little tiny townhouse that had a two-story, it was a three-bedroom, two-bath, two-and-a-half bath, and uh, me and my children all moved there. And this is when it really started. I was living in this house, and um, I, I started to believe that my neighbors were all stalking me. I started to believe that uh, even the places I would go, like, like it would always be like long lines, or, or every time I would drive it to my house, I would always get run off the road, which, uh, which is another tactic that they do. Um, I began to isolate myself because uh, somebody kept breaking into my house. It, never, it didn't matter where I'd go. Every single time I left my house, somebody broke into my house. It, it started to mess with my mind. I started to be scared. I started, I started to cry a lot. I, I, I didn't understand why this was happening to me. All I knew is that I wasn't crazy that this was really happening to me. And then I started hearing noises in the walls and I started hearing noises in my attic and um, people talking, people walking around and I wasn't the only one who heard it. My kids heard it too. They just thought my house was haunted. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't connected to any other house or any other, I was a, a house that stood alone by itself. There's no way we could have been hearing these noises that were coming from the walls. At that time when I was living in the house, I was getting really sick, really sick. Um, my right side of my body was going numb. I didn't understand what was happening to me and why, why I was getting numb, going numb on my right side of my body. And then I started to go blind on one of my eyes. I went to the hospital because I had a seizure. Uh, a seizure and I, I, I didn't know, but I could have sworn. I kept telling people it was some kind of radiation or some kind of energy that I can see, but I, it had only happened to me in my house. And I go to the hospital, they would tell me there's nothing wrong with you, Desiree, there's nothing wrong with you, and um, I think that, you know, you should go home and get some rest. And But the thing was, every time I went home, it was torture. <sighs> when Jackie finally told me what was going on, my, that's my friend, my, my close friend, she told me that it was a religious cult funded by the government, that was a uh, that there was a basement in my house, and um, and that they were monitoring me um, to try to get me to do something illegal, to either do something illegal, to institutionalize me, or have me commit suicide. That was their goal. It's a it's a some sort of a mind control technique that they do, and um, I'm not really quite sure. I'm just, I'm going off of what she said. I uh, I knew I knew. Well, the noises where they were coming from and then where they were talking and when they were in my walls or in my attic or you know whatever sick games that they played on me I, I then um, uh, got really upset and when she told me this news I ran out of my house and I left my car and I ran and I called my ex and I told him that, uh, that I uh, found a latch into my stairs which I did and I, uh, and I found the people that were in my stairs and my ex told me Desiree, just do what they want. They're not going to hurt you. At that time, that was a reassurance that he was involved, as well as she was involved, and that several other people were involved with this. But once I found that, that latch into my stairwell, and I was going to go in there to find out and take pictures, which I have pictures of the opening to my stairwell, um, I then get a knock on the door. It was two policemen that came and said that they had uh, got a disturbance call from... Um, an anonymous call, and they said an anonymous call, and then they looked around, they saw the what I did to the stairs to open it, and then they decided to take me and they put me in a behavioral health hospital. At that time, I didn't know that that's, that's uh, was going to be the best thing for me because I was taken away from the perpetrators and put away where they weren't able to get me. I then got my mind together, got better, because I was, I was in a bad place, I was in a really bad place, and then I met somebody there. I met somebody there in the annex that is going through the same exact thing I'm going through and he's the one that had the information I needed because I've been investigating this for a very long time. Not to mention I enrolled myself into DeVry University to learn how to code so I can, I can code myself. And um, that's when he told me what it was, it was called gang stalking and uh, the purpose of it and, and the program and how it's funded by the government. and. Um, and here I am. There's a lot more to the story. I left a lot of stuff out to save time. But I'm here to make an awareness. What this has done to me is destroyed my life. It took 
everything I had. All my possessions are gone. I don't have anything. I don't have my children. The children were taken away from me. Um, my money was taken from me. My sanity was taken away from me. And what this was, was... They wanted to basically destroy me. And they did. And, but I am going to fight back for the rest of my life. I will fight back. Because now that I'm away from them, and I'm living in, in a, an apartment with roommates, the stalking stopped. Um, a little bit, it stopped. And guess what? I'm not crazy. And I'm here to make an awareness. And there will be more videos to go along with this one. Thank you for listening.